Hi, this is Backend One One. In today's episode, we are going to discuss service discovery in microservices. By the end of this video, you would be able to understand what is service discovery and what problems it solves in microservices. Before uh, going into service discovery, let's try to understand the problems it solves. The first problem is the problem of dynamic IP. Let us consider there are two services. One of them is order service, and another one is delivery service. Both the services have their own IP address. Let us consider order service wants to communicate with delivery service. One of the straightforward way is using REST API. For that, order service would need the IP address and port of delivery service. But the problem is that these services will run in containerized environment, something like Docker, where the IP addresses of the services keeps on changing. They won't have the static IP. Instead, they would be assigned the dynamic IP. So the IP of delivery service keeps on changing. So that. is the problem of the dynamic ip so another problem is the problem of multiple instances so in the same scenario let's assume that our app gets popular and we uh, decided to scale out and added another instance of delivery service now there are two delivery services running if order service communicates via hard coded ip the order service would hit the same delivery service instance again and again so there is no benefit or the no meaning of adding another delivery service instance so the request should go in the new instances also then what is the solution obviously the solution is service discovery so let's see what is service discovery and how it solves the two problems we discussed service discovery introduces the discovery server so discovery server is another service which maintains the ip addresses of each of the microservices so whenever the microservices order service or delivery service starts up they register their ip addresses to the discovery server discovery server stores the ip address of order service and the delivery service in the service registry so the service registry looks like this it contains the name of the service that is order service number of instances of order service that is one and the ip address of order service in the list because there could be multiple instances of one service running in which case there will be the multiple ips so similarly for the delivery service name of the service number of instances running only one and the ip address in a list so with discovery server in the picture how would order service communicate with delivery service order service would first ask the discovery server the ip of the delivery service the discovery server would return the ip address from the service registry after getting the ip address of the delivery service the order service would now communicate with the delivery service so no matter if the ip address of delivery service changes delivery service updates the service registry maintained by the discovery server so the order service would get the updated ip address so this decoupled order service and delivery service using a discovery server so we have solved the problem of dynamic ip uh, what about multiple instances is that also solved so let's look at that so in the same example let's consider there are two instances of delivery service marked as 1 and 
so all the three instances order service delivery service one and delivery service two would register themselves to the discovery server and the service registry would look like this order service is the name of the service one is the number of instances of order service and the list of ip address of order service which is only one ip in our case for delivery service it is the name of the service number of instances running now there are two instances running and a list of the ip addresses so this is 1.2 is the ip address of first instance of delivery service and 1.3 uh, is the ip address of second instance of delivery service so this is the service registry so similar to the previous flow order service would now query the ip address of delivery service so in this situation discovery service would uh, return the list of ips because there are two delivery service running so uh, order service would get the two ip addresses now how would order service decides which delivery service to hit so it would be decided by the load balancing algorithm so what is load balancing load balancing is the process of distributing the load to all the running instances equally so order service would make sure that it hits both uh, the delivery service 1 and delivery service 2 in such a way that they get the equal load so in this way uh, introducing the discovery server which implements the service discovery solves the problem of the multiple instances and the order service also implements the load balancing to make sure that both of the delivery services would get the same amount of request since this load balancing is performed by order service which is the client of delivery service this is also known as the client side load balancing so service discovery solved the problem of multiple instances running in this way we looked at the problem of dynamic ip and the problem of multiple instances in microservices and also saw how discovery server or the service discovery solves those problems thank you we'll meet you in the next episode